Y'all, I was in bed, all comfy, and I'm like, oh, I forgot to get my food together. So, let's get our food together. In the morning, my coffee, it is two tablespoons of Taster's Choice Instant Coffee, one packet of Element, and one half scoop of IsoPure Zero Carb Protein Powder. Um, my Alexa told me that it's time to order more, but I'm it's not quite time since I'm using a half scoop now. So that's what's in my coffee cup. And in the morning, I'll add 20 ounces of hot water. Now, I also will have two of these Egg Life wraps. So, I'll put, the, put two in this little Ziploc baggie. While I'm at it, I'm going to put them other two in a Ziploc baggie. So then, it'll be ready for me to go to work Wednesday. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. Get back there. Well, my poor neighbor. I feel so bad. They got broke into today. Somebody broke into their house, and they have three dogs, but they think it's like teenager kids age. They um, the rain of things were upside down and and, um, and messed with, and they like I said they have three dogs, so I've kind of rearranged how where I put my dog door. I put on the farthest outside door, so if somebody comes back in my fence, they're gonna know. That I got, you know, the dogs can hear them better and they'll run out and bark at them from that back in fenced area. Tomorrow I'm going to take my butternut squash. I'm probably going to be giving some to my co-workers so it may not be a full 140 grams. Um, and, ooh, that is onions and peppers and mushrooms. My favorite, my favorite, favorite. I'm still not... 100%, so I'm gonna just, I'll add, oh, I got a little too many of those onions there. I'm gonna add some Paula Deen Silly Salt, just like I did tonight. Some Silly Salt, which her Silly Salt is salt, garlic, onion, mustard powder, black pepper, thyme, sage, and soybean oil. But um, it's good. And then I'm going to put a little umami in here. So tomorrow, that's what I'll have for my lunch. I'll have that along with my butternut squash. So I'm going to take a couple spoons so I can force my coworkers to taste it. They didn't want that, the turnips the other, or the... Oh, shoot. I need to let them taste turnips. They had the jicama. They weren't too... Oh, no, they did taste the her turnips. They did, and they liked them. It was funny. They're like, ew, and then afterwards they're like, oh. And then my uh, my two, two things. So, oh, hello. Forgot my muffin. These things, I tell you what, they they, they were about that much taller than the muffin tin. So, um, like I said, I'm still debating on whether I'm gonna continue to make two trips to two different stores for the wraps when I could use three eggs in the jumbo muffin tins that I've got coming tomorrow. If I can make three eggs in that, then it's the same amount of calories. One has a, one more carb and, and a little less protein, but I don't care about all that. As much meat as I eat, I'm not worried about the protein part. And I don't worry about carbs since, you know, I mean, I don't eat other things. It's just meat and some veggies. So anyway, so I think maybe next weekend when I meal prep my eggs, I'm going to do three eggs per time. So um, anyway, so I'm going to put these back in the refrigerator and this back in the refrigerator. And I'll take this to work tomorrow. Good morning. I have my protein powder, instant coffee, 
electrolyte mix and I do three minutes in the microwave with 20 ounces of water I set that for tomorrow make sure the lid's good and tight and I close her up Shake it over the sink, because sometimes it spews out. There we go. Hey, did you log yesterday? Did you do your logging? Don't forget to log. Log your food, y'all. Okay, now, on to the next thing. Don't forget to log. Don't judge yourself for what you see either. Don't judge yourself on the on the car calories and the carbs and the protein and the fat. Don't judge yourself. There's no judgment yet. No judgment. Just log. That's all you're doing. Just log. Don't judge. Okay, bye. Hello. So I get people asking me all the time, like in my personal life, um, a few people online, asking me, am I going to go ahead and add things back? Am I going to, you know, um, add back carbs, add back bread, stuff like that? Am I going to change how I'm eating? The answer is no. Maybe four or five, ten years down the road, but no. Um, like, one of the doctors at work, one of the psychiatrists, he's in another building, so I don't see him, but every five, six months. Anyway, he saw me and he was teasing. He was like, oh, Dunkin' Donuts. They've got some pumpkin flavored donuts. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, he even pulled up pictures and he likes to tease and stuff. Um, and he's like, it's just sugar. I'm like, yeah. And to someone who is, you know, who meth is their substance of use, it's just meth. And he just laughed. And anyway, um, but... I think, I think Atkins, the Atkins, the old Atkins book, had some things right and some things wrong. Because um, I tried Atkins years ago, and I think Atkins, the induction phase, and maybe phase two, I feel like were okay phases. But I feel like, for me, and not for everybody else, you have to understand that, for me, um, it could have said some people do not need to and should not add things back. But from what I remember, it was the original Atkins was focused on showing people, you know, they could get down and then they could slowly add stuff back. So, you know, like I said, for some people that might be okay. But if somebody like me, who has an addiction problem, somebody like me who has a binge problem, um, somebody like me who can't just have one of anything, that's not a good idea. So, um, so no, for me, I will never, unless I just give up on, on my diet or my lifestyle, unless I just give up and I'm like, forget it, I don't care if I get back to three, 400 pounds again, then that's, y'all need to call me out in the comments. But, um, but no, I, my personal plan is to not add back the things that caused my health issues in the first place. So, you know, the things that triggered me to eat the things I shouldn't and the things that, um, you know, caused my body to no longer be able to process sugar properly. You know, when you when you eat a cupcake and your coworkers tell you you act like you're drunk, there's a problem. Um, and so, hang on, I'm grabbing one of my lipsticks. Um, that's a problem when your body can't produce sugar um, anymore. So, no, I my plan is to never go back to eating those things. My plan is to just keep eating meat and vegetables, meat and vegetables. Unless I go to some event, I might have a few little pieces of fruit. Or, you know, whenever 
um, in season. You know how I brought home a couple figs. That was something kind of different and fun. But as far as what I'm going to buy every week or what I'm going to eat every week, my focus is going to be on the meat and vegetables. That's where I'm feeling my best. That's where my weight is my best. It's where my health is my best. So I personally have no intentions on adding all those things back or even some of those things back. Um, so it's okay to say, no, I don't plan on eating cake and pie and cookies for the rest of my life. That's an okay place to be. You know it? I mean, it's a place where I'm at and I'm okay with it. I'm perfectly, I'm looking for my mirror. Hang on. My little mirror. Mm, there it is. I'm perfectly okay with never having a big old piece of cake, but knowing that if I'm out somewhere, I could, if I wanted to, have one bite. That's okay. But I... Hang on. For me, I do not need to add all those things back. That's just not, it's not what's best for me. So, um, yeah, I, for me, this is a lifelong thing. This is a long-term uh, way of eating. This is not just some short-term thing to get me to my goal weight, and then I'm going to go back and add all the things again. For me, this is long-term, and this is how I'm going to live my life. Focusing on meat and vegetables for the rest of my life and eggs, but you know animal based I'll stay animal based with like I said the occasional bite of something um, You know like when we were on the cruise. I had a bite of Boston Cream pie cake. I don't know whatever it was my mom had for a birthday and at Christmas when family comes to town I will maybe have like a little teeny tiny piece of um, the ice cream cake that we get every year for the birthdays so stuff like that, you know, I will do, but no, I'm, I'm not going to add back all the things because I have no control over the things. Just like somebody who, you know, has substance use is meth or, or cocaine. They can't just do just a little bit once in a while. No, that's just not how it works. So for me, I'm going to be doing this lifestyle this way of eating, whatever term you want to call it, I'll be doing this forever and not adding things back. If you start seeing me add some, too many things back, you know, more than just a bite on a holiday, that's when you call me out. Okay, bye. Guys, I am running so far behind. It is 8.07. I usually get to work by 7.05 or 7 or 7.10, but this morning it just didn't work out. I was trying on different things, and they didn't fit anymore, and I'm like, <sighs> or it would be a skirt that I no longer have a shirt that matches because I got rid of it because it was too big. It was rough getting ready this morning, but here we are. It's 8.07, and, um, you know, I feel like I'm late if I'm not an hour early. Um, so I've got my my muffin, my, and I cut it in half, and two egg life wraps. I think instead of putting it in it, I'm just going to take a bite of it and just kind of go like this. It's going to go... Yep. I'm going to do it this morning because the muffins are just so awkwardly shaped. So, there we go, y'all. <clears throat> I um, I was running behind. I was going to take the dogs to daycare, but my neighbor two doors down got broken into yesterday while they were at work. So, I'm like, mm -mm, these dogs are staying home. So, uh, that my dogs are pretty loud and obnoxious. So, hopefully... The people won't come back today, but okay, bye. Hello. I have my ground beef that I made up. And I have my butternut squash. I uh, gave a bite to my coworker. She liked it. It was really good. I might give a... There was only one in there now, but I heard one across the hall, so I might see if she wants to take a bite. But okay, so that's what I'm having. My um, meat 
that I brought and made up at the beginning of the video and this. Okay, bye. Don't forget to log your food. Hey, hey, supper tonight is 200 grams of mashed jicama. Let's taste it and see if there's anything I need to do to it. I'm pretty sure that I seasoned it with whatever I need to season it with, but you know. Yeah, but it needs to be done longer. Seems like the vegetables need another minute. And now, my ground beef. This is eight ounces of 73% ground beef. Which reminds me, I need to pull out two of those big fat boys for um, to start defrosting for this weekend. So I'm going to do some minced onions. I'm going to do some chili powder. I am feeling better now, y'all. Look out. Chili powder. Going to do a little bit of salt. Gonna do nope. A little bit of freeze-dried garlic. Okay, a lot of it. We're gonna do some gar garam masala. I have to hear the guy say it. Some garam masala. I have to hear him say it in my head before I can pronounce it. A little bit of cumin. Got to have some ginger. I need to put this on my shopping list. I think I've said that before, but I don't know if I did it. All right, hang on. I'm going to pause y'all and get this on my shopping list. Hang on. Okay, it's on my shopping list. I don't remember if I put any on there. So I'll put a little ginger on there. Going for some smoked paprika. Oh, got to have some pretty turmeric. You can tell I'm feeling good, can't you? I'm getting wild again. And a little curry powder. And I think for that jicama, for the jicama, I'm going to put a little bit of the Paula Deen Silly Salt in it. Clean up my mess here. So yep, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Paula Deen Silly Salt. Hey, so, uh, you know, I tell y'all everything. My coworker had some, it's one of those salads, like they call it salad, but it's not salad. One of those Thanksgiving things. It was like, it was, a, it was the one that has cranberries and oranges and jello and pineapple juice and um, one of those like people put in a mold hers was in a bowl but i um she had it and um and of course there's sugar in it but i had one bite of it about hang on i'll show you about just how big it was so i gotta figure out how to how to log it it was probably about that much of it so since we're in the log everything two weeks I gotta figure out how to log it. So I might do some kind of like a fruit jello, if I can find a fruit jello. Anyway, we'll see what I can find, cause I'm gonna log it. I just gotta figure out how and what to label it. But anyway, so I had about a tablespoon of that. I just didn't show a picture of it cause it was one of those in the moment things. And um, yeah, I wanted to taste it because it looked pretty. So. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it in here somewhere of what, what kind of thing it was. So, all right. Yeah, that's all we got for the night and have a good night. I'll show you my, my chronometer. Hey there, I found something that worked for that bite of sauce. It's a lot of calories and carbs, but it is what it is. I logged it. Here's a picture that I found online of cranberry salad. It was yum.